For the first time in history, testing for the U.S. Army Expert Infantryman's Badge is conducted for members of a foreign army. Foreign military can receive U.S. Special Skill Badges during participation in joint combined operations like Balance Knife 95-1. During the actual train up and testing, uh, the Korean counterpart would talk through and our U.S. Uh, EIB holders would actually demonstrate. That way, they would be, under, be able to understand how much easier. Kim says translation was a minor problem. Testers spoke in English but learned Korean for stop and next person, quickly picking up more. One grader and EIB candidate taking a break from the fierce humidity says radio communications were also modified. As far as communications, we've had to alter it a little bit for the uh, Korean uh, methods and a certain crypto that they have. Weapons modifications needed approval from the U.S. Infantry Board at Fort Benning, Georgia. For the personal weapon for the uh, Rock soldiers is a K-1, which is very similar to our M-16, however, it is different. So we asked the Infantry Board, hey, can we modify, because this, since this is their personal weapon, they said no, so we compromised by using their M-203. Their M-203 is in their inventory. The exercise benefited the SF team by cultural immersion, language training, and their basic mission, teaching foreign soldiers something to take back to their unit. The candidates? Those not meeting the standards finished all stations and received a certificate of training. 31 of the original 55 candidates stood proudly before Major General Larry Ellis, wearing the coveted blue and silver badge of the expert infantryman. From Maison Re, Sergeant Melissa Flanagan, AFKN News.